Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be working on the two smaller projects from Open the Gate Quilts from their subscription box from June and July. So the June is the holder for a mini cutting mat and then the July is a key lanyard. So I'm going to work through these projects and just let you know what I think, if they were easy to um, work on and everything. So I'm going to do the June project first. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you what all comes in the project. And I really like that a picture is given of the project and it is like a real photo on photo paper, um, just so you can see how it will look. And then I love how everything you need is given. So for example, in this project, there's going to be some fusible fleece in here and the fusible fleece is provided. And then you also get um, a printout that shows how to use it just in case it's a, something that you haven't used before. So here is the fabric I have for this. and then the nice size piece of fusible fleece. So I will get this all ironed up so that I am able to cut it and piece this all together, but I just wanted you to see the fabric that is provided for the project. Okay, so, and then I get a printout of the instructions. I have really appreciated how well her instructions are done because um, they show you all the supplies. So it's, you'd be able to make the project again if you wanted to. So it shows all the supplies, then you get all the cuts and then even pictures of um, putting everything together. So I'm gonna get all this ironed and I'm gonna starch it as well just to make it easier to um, press for me as I work and I'll show you piecing it together and my thoughts on the project. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. So I have all the fabric pressed and cut and as you can see I have the main fabric here with the fusible fleece already attached and so what we're gonna do is kind of quilt as you go or not kind of it is we're gonna line up our outer stripe right side up and then our middle stripe right side down and I'm gonna stitch a quarter inch seam along here then I will press it open, just pretend it's sewn. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this side right side down, stitch across and then press that open. So then they'll be all lined up here nicely and a stripe along it. Um, so I do have other fabric set aside for the binding. Um, I have one smaller nine and a half inch and then these three are all going to be sewn together and um, I'll press them down the middle right sides together for the binding around this project. So I'm going to go sew these quilt as you go pieces on and I'll show you how it looks before I add the binding.
now we have our pieces finished and we have the front pocket here with the stripes that I'm going to put the small strip of binding on. So I'm going to attach the small strip of binding across one side and then I'm going to tack this pocket in place around these three sides, so the sides and the bottom. Um, and then I'm also going to put a row of stitching across here. It'll just help bend the flap down. And I'm just gonna mark that lightly with a pencil. Um, so I'm gonna do those steps after they're fin I'm finished with that. You'll just, um, all that I need to do is just put a binding around the whole thing and the um, the mini mat holder will be pretty much finished. It's a really quick project. Um, I think it would be a cute little project to make um, for your kid or a grandkid that you could put like a little um, coloring notebook in with some pencils or some crayons or something like that. You could easily just put some Velcro on the top to close um, to keep it a little more secure if you did something like that, but it'd be a great little pouch um, for little travel goodies or, um, you know, restaurant stuff so little kids could stay busy there. So that's just some of my thoughts uh, working so far, but I'm going to get these step finished and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the mini mat holder so far. It um, just needs the finishing binding around everything. And you see how the, that stitch line really helps it just fold um, where it's supposed to. So all I need to do is just sew the binding along the outer side of the mat. And it'll be really easy just because it's rectangular. So I'm just going to sew it along the inside of the mat so that it folds to the outer side. Um, and just go along the whole thing. And so it just like I would on a quilt, I'm going to leave some tail, um, to finish it off and we'll see how it looks all finished. All right. So here's the finished mini mat holder and I have the binding on. It's like literally complete. It was a really quick project. I'd say maybe an hour is what I took, but I'm also recording. Um, and I, once you get the hang of it, you could make these really fast. And I think it would be a really cute um, little pouch if you needed something just to carry a few things, a notebook. Um, and it would be cute as intended for a little mini mat if you're traveling and want to be able to cut some um, some blocks trim up some things you can have it to kind of keep it a little safe so it doesn't get scratched up or anything so and it fits in perfectly um so that is the mini mat holder project i'm going to set this to the side and we'll take a look at everything that came in the key lanyard project and this is uh for july the july open gate quilt subscription so let us see what is all inside here So all the instructions and like, just like the other one, you have photos and everything to help you along the way. And here are the items that we need for the project. Isn't that a pretty fabric? Oh, I didn't see it very well inside, but it is beautiful. So here is all the supplies we have. I love that the swivel clip and everything was included. Um, so we have the main fabric, a little piece of accent fabric, and I think everything is already cut to size if I am looking at the, um, pattern properly. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's all cut to size, so I'm not even going to really have to cut anything here. Um, just have to work through it. So there are all the pieces. It'll be nice and um, great together. I'm excited. So I am going to look through the instructions because I literally just opened it. I always like to read through my instructions first, make sure I understand everything. Oh, I probably didn't say this is a piece of fusible fleece, just like we used before. 
So I'm gonna look through the instructions, see what I need to do, and then I'll hop back on and show you how to put this together. Okay, so what we have here so far is our long strip. We applied the fusible fleece near the inner edge, and then we folded the raw edges in and folded it closed. I'm gonna put a few clips along here just to make it easier when I sew it together. And we'll have the swivel hook on as well. We won't be using the D-ring. I will be able to use that in another project. I'm gonna put the D-ring back inside so I don't lose it. But what I'll be doing is sewing an eighth of an inch seam along each side, then put the uh, swivel hook on, be sewing the raw edges together, and then we'll use the accent piece to kind of hide the raw edges um, close to up by the swivel hook. So this will be another really quick and easy project, but also something that will be um, very useful, something that will be um, nice to use my key, with my keys so I can hide them in my, find them in my purse when they're hidden. So I'm really excited to see this all finished. Okay, so here is the key fob with the eighth of an inch seam sewed along each side and then the seam sewed together to make it into a circle. Now be sure that you put your um, swivel clip on before you sew the seam together because I sewed it together first and then was looking at it and was like, oh yeah, I forgot to put it on. So I had to rip out some seams, thankfully not a lot. Um, so it says in the instructions to put this seam up as close as you can to the, um, to the swivel clip. So I'm going to give a little bit of room so I can sew around, but what we're doing with this, um, little accent piece was folding them into the middle, folding it in half. And then here's where I'm not really sure by reading the instructions, what, um, what it means. Sometimes it's, it's really hard for me to decipher what what the writer of a pattern's intent was for you to interpret it. And I think that's what makes it hard for me when I write patterns is I understand what I'm saying, but to make sure other people can understand, it's kind of hard. So I think I'm supposed to hide the, the raw, edges in inside here and make a little accent square around the key fob and then stitch along here. So um, I hope that's correct. And if my interpretation of doing this is wrong, um, it's still gonna be cute either way. So, and it'll still work as it's supposed to. So I'm just going to sew a box around there and then we'll take a look at it all finished. But this pattern is coming together really quickly as well. All right, so here is the key fob all finished. It fits my hand perfectly, can attach my keys on. I think it turned out great. I could have got a little more squared with my stitching kind of went a little bit wonky, but um, overall I think it looks good. So here's the other side. I should have clipped this a little bit better and tucked in, but um, overall, I think it is a really cute, um, cute key fob, and I think it's really functional. I love functional sewing projects that can be used. So these are my two small projects so far from um, Open Gate Quilts from their subscription box. This was the June project and remember the mat goes all the way in and a little mat protector little case and then the key fob and then I have the other two projects that are already up on my channel from open gate quilts as well so let me know in the comments what you think of the two projects I think this one was definitely a little bit more easy for me to follow but I've made plenty of key fobs before so um you know, it's just a little different way to do it. And, you know, let me know in the comments if you think there was a different way 
to put this on because like I said, I, I don't know if my interpretation was exactly correct on, on that when reading it. So either way, turned out cute. And I think this one, there's a lot of fun ways that you can use it. I already mentioned before that you could put um, some sort of snap closure like Velcro on to keep it closed and use it for notebooks, um, to sketch out ideas for quilts. Um, sorry, if you can hear that, I think our lawn person is here. Um, or to put a coloring book in for a child and some crayons for um, use at a restaurant or somewhere where they'll have to sit and wait for a bit. So I really, this is probably my favorite project so far. I'm, I can always use key fobs, so liked it as well. So um, I am going to do a little bit of packing today. Hopefully I can get a little more done. Um, let me know in the comments what your plans are for the week. I'd love to hear from you as the summer is quickly wrapping up. Till next time you guys, bye.